So one of the questions that I get asked all the time, literally all the time, (laughs) like the most requests ever is to share about my morning routine. And most of you know that I am like such a fan of having rituals and practices in your life that really help you show up as your best self. And to me, my morning routine is one of the most important ways that I do that. So I wanted to share with you a few of the things that I do that help set up my day for success, um, success, meaning feeling mentally, emotionally, and physically just healthy and on my game and able to come at the day with a lot of love and energy and everything that I do. Um, So in case this helps or gives you some ideas, I just wanted to walk through some of the things that I do that are so simple and so easy. Um, So hopefully that it will inspire you to create your own version of what might work for you best. Before we get into any specifics, the most important part of this overall is just that you are starting your morning and starting your day intentionally. And what I mean by that is like doing things in a way that are either life-giving, joy-giving, health-giving or health-promoting so that you are really starting to take control of your time um, and not just purely reacting. Like you're not just opening your phone first thing out of like mindlessness or of habit and just starting your day on this like adrenaline cycle versus taking care of the things that need to be taken care of first so that then when you do get into your day you don't become so reactive you don't become so stressed out and you are not just going through the motions of the best part of all I think is that this really doesn't have to require a ton of time you do not need to get up an entire hour early just to take care of a few things um, that are really going to make a big impact on your life and trust me like this can look different in different day, but doing so in a way that is actually going to just set you up better. The best part of all, I think, is that this really doesn't have to require a ton of time. You do not need to get up an entire hour early just to take care of a few things um, that are really going to make a big impact on your life. And trust me, like this can look different in different seasons. There is no like rigidity of it having to look a certain way. I know for me, mine tends to shift and change as my seasons of life change, but it's always possible to do because some of these things are just so tiny and take just a minute or two and add it up, maybe it's like an extra 15 minutes in your day. Um, And a lot of things are things that you might already be doing now, but that you could maybe slightly tweak or upgrade to get even more out of it. First things first, take off a mask and remove ridiculous earplugs. You guys know this already if you've watched my evening routine. I won't get into it now because I fully cover it there, but I'm obsessed with both. And this is truly how my day starts. Right now, I may have been woken up by a baby, um, or I may have set my alarm. Just depends. I kind of have two routes that the day could possibly go, so I know either way, these things are going to happen. They may just look like I have a little friend along for the ride, um, or it may be something where if I do happen to get up before him, then it makes things just go a little bit quicker. Next, I get up, and first thing I do is go to the bathroom. Second thing I do is change into workout clothes. I have found that if I just put my workout clothes on right away, it either means, depending on the schedule of the day, that I will go right away into my workout and get it done, probably just about 20 minutes these days, Um, or it means that later in the morning or maybe it's the afternoon, I'm just like ready. Granted, yes, I do work from home and have that blessing. Um, So this is just how it goes for me. Again, take this and apply the parts that work for you in your life. I will go get my little friend and then both of us start to do this next routine together. Come with me. Start our business, tongue scraping. I know this like sounds and looks probably so gross, but this is what I do. I will explain it later in a post, Um, but I do this for health, for mouth health, um, for great breath, um, and it's just like a great, simple, easy practice to do no matter where you are um, and just makes such a difference. Next, I put a little bit of coconut oil in and I swish it around in my mouth. This is called oil pulling. I don't do this every day, but this is something that's so great, again, for mouth health um, and really helps naturally whiten your teeth as well. So I just take like the tiniest, like half teaspoon, put it in my mouth, swish it around for like two minutes as I'm doing the rest of my little routine. And it's just a nice practice.
Note on that, don't spit it in the sink. It could clog up your pipes in a way that you don't want. And um, so I just like spit it in a little bit of tissue paper and then throw it away. Next, I always do a little something for my skin, just like a little refresh, kind of depends on the time of year, whether I something like need something a little more like heavy, like a serum or lighter, just like a mist. But this is usually what I do. My favorite right now is um, the plumping serum from Primally Pure. I also love their CBD serum, but I use that more so at night than in the morning. So this is something, and I just need like one drop or two, just a little, a little moisture and like a beautiful smell in the morning is just like such a treat. I'm gonna do something um, like with my gua sha tool. There needs to be a little bit of oil or serum on your face for the tool to slide. Um, so I do that if I'm gonna do that, if I have time for it. Again, mine is like a super, super short version. That's a, I'll do a whole other post on that soon. Um, but if I don't do that and it's time for something just quick and easy, I love doing just like a simple rose water spray on my face, like just to like, mm, it just smells good. It just changes the vibe, the energy, and it's just such a like nice way to start the day. I do those things while I am oil pulling, and then I also, if I'm going to, and I have a couple minutes, and like the baby's fine, entertained, um, then I will like do like a quick um, gua sha for lymphatic drainage, because that is super helpful in the morning. Um, and so I do it like all over my face. There's definitely a technique that you're supposed to do. I'm not doing it totally properly right now, but um, this is just such a nice, soothing way to like wake up, get started, and then again, move the lymph out of your body so your body can continue to like detox and do the things it needs to do, and it helps with tightening and toning your skin. I don't wear makeup at all, um, so taking care of my skin is like a high priority for me, and that's just really all I do. <laughs> in terms of like skincare and or getting ready. Again, I don't leave the house very much. I work from home. Um, so take that with a grain of salt. So if I do get the chance to work out, I obviously just get up, tongue scrape, and then like do my oil pulling and then go right into the workout and then do the skin stuff. But if not, you know, you know, you know what I mean. I'm not gonna work out if I just put like serum all over my face. So next, one of the most important parts of the day, I think, so I come into the bevy closet and fill up my water. So first things first, it's the first thing that goes in my body um, just to stay hydrated. Most of us wake up really more dehydrated than actually truly hungry. So it's the best thing to do first um, just to make sure you're hydrated and energized and it's good for digestion. It's good for your skin. It's good for lymph. It's good for everything. So I make sure I fill it up and then I take giant gulps and sips. So I'm all probably like a cup to two cups of water first. Having it in a huge container so that means less strips to come fill it up and it means I can just sip on it throughout the day and it's easy to measure and track so I know that drinking one of these I'm getting 32 ounces so I try to get at least two in during the day. Next up it is time to make my morning matcha. So you can use any type of healthy bevy that you want in the morning. The important thing is that it's just good ingredients. So you're just upgrading the quality of whatever you're doing. And it's something that's gonna nourish you and fill you up and bring you a little moment of joy to in the process. This is a great time to just take a pause, take a second to like tune in, see how you're feeling, see what your body needs a little bit more of that day, see what it needs less of, and give yourself that like little moment of peace and calm to just connect for a second. It can be something that changes season to season. I know it is for me, depending like how I make it, the proportions, what I'm doing, um, but it's usually like half of it is water that I put into a saucepan, and then the other half right now is like a little bit of coconut water, and then some nut milk. So I have like a new machine that's making nut milk for me that I'm so excited about. So I keep changing up what it is, almonds, cashews, hemp seeds, um, just experimenting and playing. But um, I heat all of those liquids up in a small saucepan. And then I take a second. As I get my liquids going here in the saucepan, um, I just take a quick minute kind of intake and see, like check in with myself, see what I need more of that day, see what I need less of. Um, sometimes I do like, like a quick like jotting down a few things I'm 
grateful for in my journal. Sometimes it's putting on a playlist. Sometimes it's doing like a quick meditation. Sometimes it's snuggling with Noah on the floor. It changes day to day, but I just try to use this time as like my time, my, my little morning ritual of like peace and joy and calm before the craziness of the day starts. I have it, I enjoy it. Sometimes depending on the year, if I have time, like one of my little extra things that I do for a little morning ritual will be like take a walk without a phone, right? And just give myself like 10 minutes just to kind of get centered for the day um, and raise. So with that, then the day kind of gets started. My work day gets started after that. Um, depending what's going on, you may have seen like my post talking about like intention settings. I may do like a quick review of what those intentions are just to get like my head on right for the day um, and think about things I'm focused on. But again, that's an entirely different video. What happens this point forward to get ready for my business, for my day, to plan my weeks. Um, but that is my morning routine, quick and simple. I really hope this helps seeing it. I hope that inspires you to do something and create something that works in your own life. Um, and if you need help or ideas, my second cookbook is all about this, about creating daily rituals that matter, that ground you, that center you, that get you ready to kind of approach the day and approach your life in the way that you want to create it and the way that you want to show up. Because there's so much that you can do instead of thinking about the things that you can't do or don't have time for or aren't a part of your routine now. So I hope this encourages you and inspires you. Let me know if it does, and I want to see what you guys think and what you guys, you do for your own morning routine.